Hello guys, welcome to Code with Anand. Today we will learn how to override back button press in Android Studio. First of all, press Ctrl O. Type on back. Let's select this on back press boy. This uh, method called from uh, parent method is uh, responsible for the basic effect functionality of the button. We will remove this one. There are if you want to check that uh, uh, our back button is uh, overrided or not, uh, you can just simply run the tab. Our app is now installed. Now check the back button functionality. Press the back button. And, uh, you will see nothing is happening. Okay, so it's not the end. Now we will create an alert dialog for uh, asking the user to confirm exit. So create. We will use a alert dialog window to create an alert dialog. This on create so create a dialog. Equal to new alert dialog window. Context. Builder. Dot. Set title. We will. Uh, I will set the title as confirm exit. That's question. Then uh, we will add a positive button. Name it as yes. New on click listener. Whenever user presses uh, yes, uh, when it is asked to confirm exit, then uh, our app should be uh, user should be exited from the app. To exit the app, we call system dot exit and uh, pass zero as the status. So system can uh, understand that this is a normal exit. We will add a other button. button. Give it name no, and uh, give a on click listener. So we need not to code anything in this uh, negative button uh, on click method because uh, we just want that when a user clicks no then our dialog should be uh, dismissed uh, This is the basic functionality of an, any button in this dialog so we need not to code anything. Now we will create, uh, create the dialog using this builder. builder dot create okay. so our dialog instance is created and saved in this dialog variable now we will uh, show this dialog when the bet is pressed so 
this is the food. So our app is now installed. Just click the back button and the dialog interface is off. Saying to confirm exit. If I press no, then the dialog will be just this. And uh, if I press yes, then we exit the app.